Hi guys, so today as promised we're going to have a look inside this Tronic battery charger. If you haven't watched my previous video, this was a purchase from Lidors, I think it was about £15. So it'll be interesting to see what's actually inside this. Now we've got some screws down that side, there might be a couple under the feet here, we'll just have to see how we go. So we'll pop these screws out here. Ooh. They're security bits, triangle ones. I've definitely got a bit here somewhere for that. Let's try that one there. Yeah, there we are. So yes, yeah, so just be aware that it's the, uh, the triangle type security screws. I'll try and show you that on camera. That's the uh, bit I'm using there. So three screws at the bottom. And might be a couple hidden under the feet at the rear. Okay, that's those three out. Let's see if it right, doesn't want to come apart yet. So we'll check under the uh, under the rear feet. See if we got anything there. Ah, yes. To be expected. There could be some under the uh, feet at the front as well, but I kind of doubt it since we've already got the uh, the three at the bottom. It may well be clipped together as well, which would be a tad annoying if it is. We'll just check under these feet, just in case. Yeah, nothing under there. Alright, so that's all the screws out that I can see. And, uh, yeah, it's not coming apart yet. Let's have a look. Get the uh, spudger out. See if we can find a point to uh, try and prise this apart from. So, mains cable coming in here, a bit of strain relief there, which is good to see. So we flip the unit over. It's a quite a complex board, a lot more than I was um, expecting to be honest with you on this. And by the looks of it, it's got individual temperature sensors for each of the battery slots. So that's very nice touch to see that. So we pop the remaining screws out that's holding this board in. See what's on the other side. I'll have to have a look at that chip in a minute, see what that one is. One screw there, and one screw here. Not of the most attention is detail, these are all the wires that seem to be going off to the individual temperature sensors, and they've all been sort of blobbed down with some gunk there to stop them wiggling themselves loose and coming off. And there's one in the centre. That should just lift off. Okay, there's a ribbon cable here which is going over to the display screen at the top. We'll just see if we can pop that out. I think that's just pushed in. Take that off. And then connect to here for the lithium battery side. Let's see if we can flip this over. So here you can see our contacts here. This would be the positive side contacts for the, uh, for the cells when you've got them in. There's the back of that board there. So that would be individually, I mean it's not each individual one, but each bank will be its own separate uh, system. Let me look at the back of that. We've got those two are actually on one. And those are actually independent as well. 
So I wonder if they're using that because um, certain cells will obviously fit in within a certain location. So like a type C or a type D cell will only really line up with one of these uh, pins. So instead of them all being commons, which I thought they were, they do appear to be separated. Not all of them, but some of them are separated. Like for instance, looking at the back here, we've got the top lot's common, but it's also common to the middle row. Um, whereas the bottom row is completely separate on that. Right, so as you can see, here for example, we've got the top pins there, which I think would be the two there on that side. That's all together, and then we've got that's linking into that one there, but then the bottom one, that's completely separate and that'd be going off to its own individual pin down on this block down there. And we've also got pins the same over on this side of the board. And you can probably see now we've got the individual LEDs, which are actually just mounted on the board along there, and then they're using light pipes on the unit to project the light up to the top. So these would be the, what I was thinking were individual temperature sensors, but actually I've been very much mistaken on that. It's slightly disappointing, I was hoping they were actually monitoring temperature, but this is obviously how they're getting the ground connection, because these are the spring contacts, as you've seen before. So that would be the ground connections. So they're not common, are they common on the board? Yeah, they're commoned on the board. I probably should have looked a bit closer, more closely at that. I would have probably picked that up straight away. So by the looks of it, there isn't any kind of temperature monitoring going on on this board at all. So this would be our main power supply coming in. Again, nice to see it. everything's gunked down, so it's not going to, you know, vibrate itself loose um, over time, which is great to see. There's our connector that goes to the uh, LCD display screen. USB socket there, and some miscellaneous components on that side. And then, like I say, the top side of the board is quite detailed, quite a lot of stuff going on there. We'll have a look at this chip and see what that one is actually doing. Okay, so I've had a closer look at that chip that we've got there. Now, that is actually the Holtec HT67F489, but it seems Kind of a bit <laughs> over the top for uh, what we're what the application is here, but that's a enhanced HLSD type 8-bit flash MCU with LCD drivers. Um, I'll put a link into the data sheet. Uh, you'll be able to have a sort of closer look as to what's going on with that. Um, well, certainly the information I managed to find online. So that certainly seems quite a lot um, going on just for what should be a sort of basic battery charger, really. And we've got some nice attention to detail here with our main supply coming in. We've got an opto isolator jumping over there, and we've got nice clear area, so nice spark gap has been cut out there as well. So shouldn't be any risk of any of the high voltage jumping over to the low voltage side. Soldering looks uh, perfectly fine. That's uh, been wave soldered. You can see the little blobs of glue under all the components and where you've got components that uh, haven't been placed, there's the bobs of glue there, so that's been wave soldered. All in all, very nice construction. Certainly gone to a fair bit of detail for what is effectively just a simple, uh, you know, standard battery charger. So it's a shame that they didn't incorporate, you know, a proper sort of 18650 style uh, slot for charging batteries. Maybe I will sort of do what I was looking at doing and putting the battery holder in place of this unit here. That's something I could possibly do. Um, but you're only going to get sort of basic charging. It's only a two wire. It's not going to obviously, you know, do anything. You know, you're only going to be doing one at a time, so it's not too bad. But you're not going to be temperature monitoring. And it is a shame that this board isn't actually monitoring the temperature um, of the cells, which would probably explain why they do get pretty warm when they're charging. So that's a shame, but all in all, nice construction, and um, yeah, I should certainly keep it. It does the job for charging your sort of standard NICAD nickel metal hydride type cells, and uh, you know I should invest a bit more money and get a uh, you know a nice decent sort of lithium battery charger at a later date. 
So I hope you found that look inside this one interesting. Um, certainly more in there than I was expecting. Hopefully I can get it all back together again. Catch you soon for the next video. Cheers.